Hey guys, what's up? So this reading is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. Okay, some of you Capricorns are not feeling hopeful about a home situation. Um, um, having that firm foundation, possibly with an Aquarius or a fire sign. We have the four of wands and the star in reverse. Um, so just not really feeling hopeful about um, that's uh, that situation. That's what I'm picking up for you guys. Okay, let me just shuffle this deck. Oh, by the way, I'm listening to Meditative Mind on YouTube. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I have it on in the background. Um, it just helps clear my head. It gets me more into the zone. It helps block out other distractions as well. So, um, Capricorn. I feel like some of you are waiting on communication, possibly from a fire sign. Um, they're coming towards you really slow. I have the Knight of Pentacles here. Virgo towards Capricorn energy as well. Um, I also feel like you're getting over anxiety. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, Somebody's wanting a second chance. I feel like you're considering it, um, but you haven't made a final decision yet because um, I have the world in reverse, the king of pentacles in reverse, and um, yeah. So here's the king of pentacles in reverse, the world in reverse, and the judgment card. Um, I feel like right now you're still very unhappy with, with somebody from your past, possibly a fire sign. Um, I feel like, um, you're not wanting to give them a second chance right now with the world in reverse. However, I feel you may, you may give this fire sign a second chance in the future at some point. But I don't feel like you've made your your mind up to do it as of yet. Um, we do have the Ten of Cups, so I feel like this person did bring you emotional fulfillment at some point. Um, but we also have the Fool in Reverse, so I don't feel like you're going to be taking a leap of faith with them. Um, and I feel like you're, you know, in the future, you're no longer going to be confused about this decision. With the Seven of Cups in reverse, there's no more confusion. You know, in the future, I think you're going to realize that although you did have this with them, it wasn't worth the anxiety they gave you. And you remember how they made you feel here with the King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, I think they left you broke. I think they left you... Um, with your heart hurting, um, I think they left you feeling like a fool and uh, you don't want them back. I think you're going to see that in the future though. And you know, it's going to leave them feeling like the Ten of Pentacles in reverse because they had, they know, they're going to see that they had a solid commitment with you. Um, however, it's going to be too late at that point. Um, and then they're going to become this Queen of Wands energy. It doesn't have to be a female. It can be male or female. Um, this is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. And they're going to be really nasty. Um, I mean, just like a nasty B-I-T-C-H. Basically. When you reject them. Yeah, because you're going to be avoiding a da disaster. Um, I feel like, you know, you're going to let down your guard. Um, but it's not to get back with them. It's just you're going to be feeling better about yourself. And you know that you're going to be wanting to avoid a disaster with them. Um, and you're going to use um, patience. You're going to have a lot of patience with yourself. And um, you might have a Sagittarius coming in for you with the Temperance card there. Yeah. 
Okay. So if you want to go ahead and ask your question, um, I do have my witch's runes, and I'm going to see if I can try and get an answer for you. Okay, guys? So go ahead and ask your question while I get my runes ready. Just mixing my runes up for you guys. Alright. Alright, so here we go. So I do see marriage in your future, and I do see that you are going to know something within the next 28 days. Um, let me see something really quick. Feel like you're going to be traveling maybe within the next 28 days yeah you're going to be traveling or you're going to hear about travel you or someone close to you is traveling in the next 28 days um i do see the ear here the ear of corn which is really good Um, this is, this rune is kind of like the tower. So I see this is really positive on the one hand, and this is kind of like, can be seen as something negative depending on, um, I feel this is more past energy though. Um, but I feel like there's going to be a tower moment where everything comes crumbling down to the ground that wasn't built on a solid foundation. Um, but I think after that time, um, after everything crumbles down, I feel like you are going to have success in the future. Um, and I do see marriage because we have the rings here. Can you guys see that? We have the rings. Yeah, but I feel like you need to close this cycle out first. Um, possibly with a Sagittarius in the future. Okay, so I hope that answered your question. Um, the runes are very specific, so it's really hard if you have a vague question. They're not really like yes or no, so to speak. Um, they kind of give their own story. So I just tell you what they say. I am interpreting what I see. And um, if it fits for you... Um, you'll know like it'll you'll know your own story so i hope you enjoyed the reading um this is just a general reading so it may or may not resonate for you um but if you did happen to like the video just go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below and let me know what you think bye guys <laughs>